Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Big John TV. It is What's Cooking Wednesday. What do you got? I got something that I don't even like to eat. <laughs> Last week we did eggnog. She's not a fan, but it's traditional. So it we is. did it. Turned out pretty darn good. I actually liked it. It was good. Excellent flavor. Still not so sure about the thickness. Right. So maybe this week we'll convert you to liking... Fruitcake. Holiday fruitcake, guys. I... Love fruitcake. I don't care what brand, what cost, the cheap little mini bricks. You know what I'm talking about? The, you know, the one pound blocks. I love them. Mm -hmm. They're all good. Never found one I didn't like. I don't really care for it. <laughs> she I, can't stand them. I don't know why. I, I've tried it a few times and it's just not a combination of things I enjoy. But I like fruit and I like cake, so it, I should like it, right? Basically. <laughs> So I'm going to show you guys a recipe today that is a super traditional British recipe. So I'm going to have all my measurements in grams, yep. which will be kind of weird for you guys. <laughs> but I, I'm going to try it. And I'll link go. the original recipe down below so you know where I got it from. Yep. So let's get cooking. All right. See you at the end. All right. We're going to start out with 150 grams of butter. This worked out to be one stick, half a cup of butter, plus three tablespoons. To that we're going to add 150 grams of brown sugar. This is dark brown sugar. And we'll start to cream this together. Alright, that's light and fluffy and well combined. Alright, we're going to add in one tablespoon of Lyle's Black Treacle. This is really similar to a molasses for us here in the U.S. This stuff is super sticky. Holy cow. And we'll blend this in. All right, next we're gonna alternately add in our eggs and flour. We have 225 grams of flour. And you'll notice I am using grams in this recipe today because it's a really authentic UK recipe. Um, I will link it down below, the original recipe that I'm using. So we're going to do one egg, blend it in. And about a quarter of our flour. Our next ingredients to go in would normally be brandy, but because I'm taking this to Maddie's school, I didn't want to add the alcohol. So I'm using some of the liquid we use to rehydrate our raisins. This is three fluid ounces and a teaspoon of brandy extract or flavoring just to give it that little bit of brandy flavor without the actual alcohol. I'm going to add in two teaspoons of lemon juice, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of baking powder. Next we'll mix in 110 grams of ground almonds. And now we'll start to add in our fruit that makes this a fruit cake. This is one pound of a mixture of sultanas, which are white grapes, table grapes, and there are some currants in there. Those are these really tiny ones. And I rehydrated these overnight. Some people soak them in brandy. Some people soak them in a strong tea. 
I just went with water this time. We're gonna stir these in. We're gonna add in 16 ounces of this holiday fruit. This is a fruitcake mix. It contains orange and lemon peel, cherries, pineapple, and citron. Stir this all in gently. That seems to be well distributed, well combined into our batter. Let's pour it into our pan. I'm using a nine inch springform pan. I've buttered the bottom and sides and lined it with parchment paper. And in our mix goes. We're going to smooth the top out. Our oven has been preheated to 325 degrees. This is gonna go in and bake for about two to two and a half hours. You can test it with a toothpick in the center. Let's go. All right, our fruitcake is out of the oven. It looks fantastic. We're gonna let it cool down and give it a taste. And boom, just like that, it's done and we're ready to eat it. Come on, well, there, goes it, there focus. it is. All right, fruitcake. You know what I think it is? I think it's those artificially dyed fruits in it that freak me out. That's what makes it more uh, delicious. All right, here goes nothing. Do it. This one looks very crumbly. Some of the ones you get that are the, especially the really small compact ones, it's like those things are almost raw in texture. Look at that. Look at that green and red. Very festive. I didn't ever focus, but you get to see the colors there. You get it. So looking at this, I thought it was really dry looking. Ooh. But eating it, it's not. It's really moist. It's got a good flavor. The nutmeg in there comes through. I taste all the different dried fruits. I get the raisins and the sultanas and the, the currants. I don't really taste the little candied fruits, which freaked me out to begin with. It just with adds it. the overall bite. Right. That is fantastic. Okay, I'll eat it. I guess I'm okay with it now. All right, now I get to keep buying those cheap crappy ones from the store. I don't like the texture of those though. You've never tried them. Mm -hmm. No, because you always say, I don't like it. <laughs> I is... have tried them. Not necessarily a time when you gave it to me. <laughs> My dad likes fruitcake, so he I, used I to know. buy them. I know. It, to me, that's always been, it's been one of those things that the the grandpas, the uncles, the dads, the father, the head figures of the households <laughs> have always liked. And that as growing up, I'm like, I need to like that too. And so I tried it and I always did. It's not like I lied about it, you know? That's funny. But uh, this is fantastic. This is absolutely dead on delicious. It, it tastes very seasonal. Mm -hmm. Like that nutmeg in there just screams Christmas to me. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't decide if it's typically served with custard or not, so we've got it dry, but I could see custard being poured over this and it being really good too. I could, yeah, I could see, like I know it calls for alcohol, but we don't drink the alcohol. I could see this if it was to be soaked in something. I could see that really like right. adding to that richness of it. And so I did add the brandy extract. Right. So it, it has a little bit of that flavor minus the alcohol. Right. But yeah, this is, I, I, I personally wouldn't change a thing about it. That is absolutely perfect. If there was custard on the plate, I wouldn't eat it with this. I would eat it after. 
Like I wouldn't mix the two. This is delicious. Okay. Absolutely perfect. I'm glad this recipe was a success. Yeah. Uh, check out the recipe, <laughs> the original down below. I made like only one small change and it's a win. Yep. I'll, I'll make it again for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. He's going in for more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you do all the things. Like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you enjoy fruitcake and if you've ever made one or if you're going to try this recipe. Yep. All right. Catch you on the next one. See you. Bye. That is a super traditional British recipe. That's, British recipe. That is a super traditional British. British.